Hello, I'm Rob Bryden. For the last three weeks, we've been looking at the journey undertaken by members of Bridgend County Youth Theatre as they make three films that strive to tell stories that are meaningful to them. Effort, determination and plenty of hard work have been invested in what became a labour of love for the youth theatre. Three films with three overlapping age groups covering three very different sets of issues. Having already looked at the traumatic results of bullying and peer pressure in the Playhouse... Oh, Tilly! Hello. How's your mum and dad? I've never fitted in. Not here, not anywhere. And seen Darren's failed attempt at romance in A Night on the Tiles. Can you still go for a pie like that? It's smelling like that. I'm taking the piss. We now turn to the third film created by the It's My Shout project in 2005, School Safari. My Uncle Bob once told me that life is very much like a safari. And he should know. Uncle Bob is an explorer in Africa. In deepest, darkest spots of Wollamagoogachu. Though some people think otherwise. For the last time, Jack, your Uncle Bob's an accountant in Swindon. Uncle Bob says we're all still animals. You just have to scratch the surface. In fact, it's only three million years since we actually were animals. Which, in relation to the history of the universe, is about roughly two days ago. Which is why, when leaving the safety of the nest, it's best to be prepared. are the animal equivalent of a fun-sized Mars bar for most predators. Or that parrots require more attention than any other bird. In fact, 
parts have the intelligence of a five-year-old child. But the emotional capacity of a two-year-old. Attack, even when it's very unlikely. There's nothing funny about that lot. Known fact that elephants have been known to die standing up, which is why it's sometimes hard to tell whether they're very, very old or just dead. They say monkeys are as intelligent as us. There's no honour amongst thieves. A black-tailed viper has a jaw the size of a dustbin with over 2,000 teeth, but a brain the size of a big bean. As my Uncle Bob would say, it could have been a lot worse. Then again... Thank you. 
school safari, in which a young boy's active imagination helps him through the worries of his first day at a new school. Hello, I'm Joe Wiltshire, and I'm doing a film called School Safari. Jack, in a way, is like more sort of a timid sort of person, but it has got a really big imagination. It's the kind of kid that has suffered from bullying in the past, so um, he's created his own imaginary world for himself where he sees his friends and his teachers in school to be animals. He's a bit scientific in a way, but he hasn't got a posh accent or anything, but he's just a normal kid. In a, in a way, I think I do relate to him. You know. Well, but, well, mostly I do relate to his hair. Well, at least he found a way to identify with his character. Joe, along with the other actors in the film, was cast following an intense audition process that began with workshops at Pyle Life Centre and culminated in auditions at HTV Wales Studios. I love that. Can we just pick that back up? Because what you're doing there is going louder, but you could be going like you're doing. It could be. I love is when a kid comes in and is confident enough to just kind of um, do whatever the director wants. If you're going to be doing a, a kind of um, ape or something, you want to be loud, and you want. To, I want to see somebody that's not afraid to actually go for it and then um, give a performance. Is that me looking at me? I think it can be a nerve-wracking nerve -wracking thing because sometimes as well, I'm quite a dominating kind of person. You were doing great with the stiff and that kind of stuff, but that kind of... Perhaps one of the most challenging aspects of the film for the young actors was adopting the mannerisms of different animals for the shoot. Snow a bit, you know, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. To help them visualise what he wanted for the film, director Tony Forster made the most of the good weather and took his cast out for rehearsals on location. So you kind of, you know, like that, and then, you know, maybe we can take it one step further now. When you get there, kind of, you know, look up at Chelsea yeah. as well. Using the documentary team to help set up shots, he was able to block off scenes for the film and give the actors more of an idea of how the final product would look. OK, we've got you three ready. OK, and action. And they say monkeys are as intelligent as us. I mostly thought to, to, be, to be myself, because if I start acting, they'll show it up on the camera and they'll think, no, this boy isn't doing it. Same time, I'm gonna put, like, I'm gonna be myself, but I'm gonna be Jack as well. It's a bit difficult to understand that. <laughs> I'm sure Joe is gonna be a cracking little actor. There's a lot of responsibility on him, but I, I think that he's going he's gonna to pull a good one for us out of the back on the day. School Safari showcases a number of locations in Bridgend County Borough, more so than the other films involved in the It's My Shout scheme 2005, therefore providing a visual reference of the places that the members of the youth theatre have grown up in. Filming in locations that are local and familiar to the cast helped to strengthen the feeling of ownership of the films amongst the young people. The crew were fortunate enough to film the earlier scenes set in Jack's home in a house that was not only large enough to accommodate them all, but also had a large garden and orchard to complement it. So Tony, Joe's action is he just walks to the door, open it now, yeah? School bag in his hand, don't you? Yeah. I have the school bag on stand by the door. Got it, you. you went for the door with his hands, didn't you? Yeah. I need to open it, take a step out, then stop, come back, reach for your cap. Camera is set and action. Which is why, when leaving the safety of the nest, it's best to be prepared. So, yeah, I'm, fe I'm feeling okay, a bit tired after the first scene, but. I get into it well. Shots of the school were filmed at Pencoid Comprehensive School near Bridgend, the former stomping ground of Welsh rugby international Gavin Henson. Okay. 
Nie spodzili ten. Action! The talent and professionalism of the cast was unquestionable, although Tony had difficulty extracting a similar performance from this interestingly attired character. Okay, we have to have a look at this. Yeah. The camera is set, so on my action cue, very quickly off everyone. Stand by and action! Making the film often proved tricky to organize. One of the more complex shots involved a large number of the actors cramped together in a narrow corridor to simulate a rushing jungle river. Okay, camera is set and action turning, action line. <laughs> For Tony, as a first-time director, making the film was an important learning curve. Well, I'm originally a writer, um, but this is my first chance to direct a short film. I've been lucky enough to, to get one of them. One more time, please. From here on in, it's been several weeks of intense rehearsals, um, going through the entire process, working with all the departments, and hopefully it'll all come together and we'll all have a, a film to watch at the end of it. Speed. There's no honor amongst thieves. Additional dialogue recording took place at Soundworks Studios, where Joe had to reread some of his lines, adding different emphasis and inflection to get the right tone for the film's voiceover. In the deepest, darkest spots, one on my YouTube. In deepest, darkest spots, one on my YouTube. One more time. Deep, in deepest, darkest, deepest, darkest spots, one on my YouTube. Finding a voice for the film was one thing, but for Tony, making his own voice heard was another challenge in itself. I think it needs to be quite quiet. What do you think? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd just let Joe say them and see how he says them naturally. One more time. In deepest, darkest spots of one of the Google chief. And with the end result living up to expectations, School Safari was well received at the premiere of the It's My Shout films at the Odeon Cinema in Bridgend, where the young actors jumped at the chance to rub shoulders with professionals from the broadcasting industry. The highlight for many was the award ceremony that followed the screening of the films, honouring the hard work of both cast and crew, and bringing It's My Shout 2005 to a close. Afterwards, there were plenty of celebrities on hand to congratulate and inspire the young actors. I was really, really blown away by the standard of it. I was, it was much higher than what I was expecting, I suppose. I think it's fantastic. The project's gone really well. The body of work which has been produced this year, and including the crew and the cast and all the young actors and so on. I've seen them for so long on kind of really small monitors, and just to see them on that big screen is just amazing. It's so exciting. The whole atmosphere is, uh, is great. The, it's so joyful. Everybody's so full of fun. It's, uh, it, it can be nothing but uh, a wonderful triumph. It was, it's just so overwhelming that like, children of our age can get a chance like this. You, don't, you dream of it really, didn't you? So, good. It's a good feeling. <laughs> it was great fun. It was really, really good. It was just totally different from anything I've ever done before. It was a bit like, nerve-wracking seeing yourself like that much, like multiplied on, on screen. It's like, whoa. Everybody said they were like so professional. I mean, they were. I mean, even, even the bloody posters are like, Big Hollywood films, you know, was smashing. Oh, it's a brilliant idea. I mean, it's just a great chance for everyone to get involved in it and, you know, do something for the Gen uh, Theatre. Very satisfying and uh, I was glad to see everyone enjoyed the films as well. There was a lot of laughter in there. It was, it was really good fun. For many, the awards ceremony that followed the screening marked the completion of the scheme, but for others, 
there's little respite before the planning starts again for next year's project. And what a project we have to look forward to. Head of Drama for ITV Wales, Peter Edwards, announced to excited applause that It's My Shout 2006 will comprise of no less than six short films in both English and Welsh. I think that's fantastic. I think there's a lot of opportunities that will grow from It's My Shout and will go on for years and years. More people can get involved. It's pushing us out there a bit more, showing everyone we can do this. And I just hope some other people can have a go now. Well, I don't care, I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> but before all that, Bridgend County Youth Theatre returns to its origins on the stage as its members begin rehearsals for their forthcoming production of Rodgers and Hammerstein's musical Carousel. The last time that director Roger Bunnell took the helm of Carousel, the lead role of Billy was played by possibly the finest actor of his generation, the immensely gifted Rob Brydon. With all that to look forward to, we'll leave you with these images from the three films of It's My Shout 2005, each one entertaining and unique in its own way, a resounding success for all involved, and for many, an experience they will never forget. It's my shout.